he's preaching about someone who stared death in the face yes. and spoke to the grave and said, no man takes my life, yes. but I lay it down. Yes. And if I lay it down, I have power yes. to pick it up again. Yes, he's preaching about a man named Jesus. Yes. Look at somebody tell him, he's talking about my Jesus. Yes. He's Preaching that old, old story of Jesus and his love. And although the congregation might change from Sunday to Sunday, the preacher's message will never change. This is why I'm glad when they said, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'll tell you something else that's going on. As I'm almost done, souls are being saved in the house of the Lord. Backsliders are being reclaimed in the house of the Lord. And the hearts of Christians are being revived. The Christian Manufacturing Center is a rehab for those who are down and out. You can come in here as raw material, but you'll leave as a finished product. You can come in here lost, and you'll go out found. You can come into the house of the Lord one way, but when God is done, he'll clean you up. You can come in here help out and you'll leave a heaven-bound saint. Yes. You can come in here steeped in sadness and sorrow, but you'll leave with joy waiting for yes. tomorrow. Yes. If I got a witness, yes. somebody say yes. yes. If you mess around too much before this morning service is over, somebody might think about the purpose of the house of the Lord. Yes. And maybe some shouting might go on. I can't predict to what degree that the spirit will move. But one thing I do know is that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty in the house of the Lord. Somebody might stop and think about it and be overwhelmed by the goodness of God and won't be able to control the outpouring feeling of the Lord's anointing in their life. In the house of the Lord, we don't have to do no more but to reflect on how God woke us up this morning, started us on our way, and before we know it, we'll find ourselves unable to hold our peace. In the house of the Lord, somebody who's not ashamed to praise him will lift their hands to heaven and say, thank you, Jesus. In the house of the Lord, somebody that don't need no music will get an urge and shout glory, hallelujah, and not even throw in a higher. In the house of the Lord, there might be somebody who's not too stiff to get limber, who's
don't know why you come. I don't know what your excuses are. But as for me, when I come to the house of the Lord, I come with purpose. When I come to the house of the Lord, I don't come waiting to see what sister so-and-so has on. I don't come waiting to see what time brother so-and-so is going to show up. But when I come to the house of the Lord, I bring all the mess I've been through all week. I forget about Facebook and MySpace, and I don't even tweet her in the house of the Lord. But when I get to the house of the Lord, all of my worries and concerns are stayed at the door. When I come to the house of the Lord, I forget about my headache, my backache, my neckache, and my toothaches. Because I know if I can just get into the house of the Lord, I'm witness in here. There is a doctor in the house of the Lord. There's a lawyer in the house of the Lord. There's a physician in the house of the Lord. He's here in the house of the Lord. Say yeah. In the house of the Lord. David said, if I could just get there. So I was glad just to be invited, but I can't wait to get there. Have we lost that excitement, saints? Do we still have that joy that I can't wait? Does the half hour drive for those of us from winter seem like 10 minutes because you can't wait? Does getting up Sunday mornings uh, excite you because you can't wait? If, if the answer is no to none of that and you struggle to get here because of your flesh, but I want you to know you need to go back to God and say, Lord, give me that excitement of coming just to the house of the Lord. What I found out about this message that the Lord laid it in my heart. What I found out about this message is this. It doesn't matter who else comes to the house as long as I can get where the Lord is. As long as I can be where God is. I'm just happy to be in the house. You know, minister, I got so many things that happened on this week I can complain about. So many things I can whine about. So many stresses I'd like to give to you and let you handle them. But when I come to the house of the Lord, all my worries cease. Because there's something. Do you still have that joy this morning? Is the joy of the Lord still your strength? Or are you struggling so much until you can't feel the power of God? Got circumstances worn you down to a point that you can't appreciate what God has already done. And not only what God has already done, but what you know God is about to do. Have you ever stopped and gave God praise, not for what he has done, but for what you know he's going to do? Those are the things, that's how you receive your power. When you enter into the house of the Lord. I want you to bow your heads and close your eyes. When all the singing is done, what a great inspirational word and story we heard on today. But after that's done, the word of God is what will keep you from day to day. I want to know this morning if you lost your joy, if you lost that eagerness, if you lost that unction, if you lost that desire, then I want to pray for you that the Lord will help you so when you even think of the house of the Lord, that joy bells begin to ring in your heart. That you'll do like David done before he even got home after recovering the ark. The Bible says that David danced out of his clothes, his priestly garments. He danced. Why? Because he knew I was on way back into the house of the Lord. If there's one today that will be honest with you and God, he'll raise your hand and say, I've lost the joy. The joy has slipped and I need God to replace it in my life. I want you to raise your hand. Maybe you don't know the Lord as your Savior. Maybe you don't know how to experience this joy. I want you to raise your hand and say, I need this joy. I want to be able to just think of God's goodness and his people and feel the joy of the Lord. Because I'm in the house of the Lord.